Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series on discrete mathematics. We have started with the topic logic and this is the video part 1. Now let us see the topics which we are going to cover. We are going to take the propositional logic and the propositional equivalences. Let us see the definition first. A proposition which you are also going to call the statement. Proposition or statement is a declarative sentence that is a sentence that declares a fact that is either true or false but not both at the same time. So the remarks are we denote propositions by small letters PQR. The truth or falsity of a proposition is called its truth value. Then a proposition is true, its truth value is true. And it is denoted by T when a proposition is false its truth value is false and it is denoted by F. Let us see the example for the better understanding of the concept. Let us see the first proposition 7 is a prime number. Since it is a fact we are going to call it a proposition. The truth value is true since 7 is a prime number. Now the second is Mumbai is in Maharashtra. This is also a proposition and the truth value is true. 2 plus 5 equal to 10. Even if the sentence is incorrect, that means the truth value is false. This is a declarative sentence and the truth value is false. Chennai is the capital of India. So we can decide between whether it is true or false. So whenever we are able to differentiate about its truthness, we say that it is a proposition. So Chennai is the capital of India is a false statement or false proposition. So truth value is false. Now let us see the examples which are not propositions. For example, do you know Konkani? Since it is an interrogative sentence, it is not a declarative sentence. Because sometimes maybe the answer is yes or no means sometimes the answer is true or it may be false depending on where to whom it is asked. So this is not a proposition. Now the second is close the window. It is an imperative sentence. It is given, uh, the order is given that close the window. It is not a declarative sentence. That means we cannot assign a truth value means either true or false to the statement close the window. Now the third is x plus 1 equal to 3. Since value of x is not given, we cannot claim it to be true or we cannot claim it to be false. Means it may be true or may be false depending on the value of x. So therefore it is not a proposition. The fourth one is x plus y equal to z. This is also not true, not false. We cannot decide whether it is true or false. And therefore, it is not a proposition. Now, propositional logic. It is a mathematical system for reasoning about propositions and how they relate to one another. So, logically, we are talking about the system for reasoning about propositions and how they relate to one another. The definition of logical connectives is the words or phrases which combine two or more propositions are called logical connectives. The logical connectives are and, but, not, if, then, either, or. These statements are used to connect the two propositions. Definition of symbol statement. A statement which doesn't contain any logical connective is called a simple statement. For example, there are seven days in a week. So we are not using any of the logical connective. So this is a simple statement. Second is square root 2 is a rational number. It may be true or it may be false. But since the logical connective is not given here or not used here, we will say that it is a simple statement. Now let us go to the Compound statement definition. A statement which contains logical connective is called a compound statement. For example, 
2 is a prime number and 2 is an even number. So there are two propositions, two separate statements. The first one is 2 is a prime number and second is 2 an even number and the logical connective is used and which is and. So this is a compound statement. Here we are not talking about it's about whether it is true or false. We will see it later. The second one is I will cat I will watch the cricket match on TV or go to the one K stadium. So there are two separate propositions. The first one is I will watch the cricket match on TV, and the second one is I will go to the one K stadium. These are the compound statement. Now let us talk about the truth value. The new sentence obtained by using logical connectives is proposition only when it has truth value or false but not both. There may be the case when it is not a proposition. The truth value of a new sentence depends on the truth values of the sentence from which it is formed and also the connectives used. Depending on the connectives used, the truth value will be different. It may be true or it may be false. So we are going to apply the logic or we have different rules. We are going to use the truth table and we are going to decide whether the compound statements are true or false. So in the next video, we are going to talk about the truth tables and we are going to talk about the truthfulness or the falsity of the propositions or the compound statements. Thank you.